everyone. This is two days after my surgery. So I just wanted to um, kind of tell you how I'm feeling and things. You can still see the markings that the plastic surgeon made. Um, they'll probably be on there for a while because I don't want to use anything rough like a nail polish remover or something to get rid of the ink. I'm just going to gently let that fade as I uh, take baths. Um, and I'm not taking bath baths. I'm sort of just sitting on the side of the tub and cleaning my um, body without getting this area wet. So I've sort of been losing my voice a little bit and I think it's because of the oxygen tube that was going down my throat. But it doesn't hurt like a sore throat. It's just that I sound like I have laryngitis or something when I talk. When you have a mastectomy, um, they will put um, this tubing around your wound so that um, the tubing can then use vacuum pressure to sort of pull all the excess fluid out. Usually for about a week or two, you'll have drains. And sometimes you have two on each side. Sometimes surgeons will put one on each side. So I just have one on each side. You can tell, you know, mine needs to be empty. That's about halfway filled. And, um, and the other one is two. So right now they're very red. That means there's a lot of blood that's coming out, but eventually, maybe by next week, they'll be more clear and more yellow. Um, and then when they kind of, when the fluid sort of gets to be um, less and less, that's when they take the drains out of you. So anyhow, these are called Jackson Pratt drains, and I'm going to show you guys what you're supposed to do with them. They don't bother me. They don't hurt or anything. Um, I've been feeling very comfortable um, for the past day or two just using um, pain meds that they gave me and I have a ton of pills uh, to keep organized so the organizer that I think I told you guys about in my shopping haul video has been very very helpful um, helping my mother and I stay on top of what medicine I'm supposed to take when. So anyhow with these Jackson Prep drains you open this up it kind of is like a um, if you had a a float at the swimming pool. It's like that. So you open it up and then the air goes in it. And this is my left one. So I get the cup that has the L on it and you squeeze out all the blood that you can. Then you hold the drain tight like this and then you put the top back in it. And that will create the suction that we need to um, pull more fluid out. So with this one, it looks like 30 milliliters. So I'm gonna write down today's date, and this is the left. So I'm gonna say 30 milliliters. And then, um, then we will do this other side. And you've noticed that um, I'm wearing a t-shirt, but it buttons all the way up. So I can just put it on without having to put it over my head and raising my arms. Although my arms are not, I mean, they're sore, but they're not as bad as I've seen other people have sore arms on um, YouTube after um, having a breast reconstruction with the implant underneath the muscle. And also people who have had many lymph nodes taken they, they're in a lot more pain than I am. So I only had, I think, the sentinel lobe taken. So anyhow, you just unplug, I'll put this down. You unplug this, and then you squirt the blood out. And then you keep it tight and then you put the stopper back in it. So this one, this is more, this looks to be like 50. So this one, my right side is 50. So now that I've taken the measurements of the liquid, um, what we do is we just pour it into the toilet and flush the toilet. And then 
then I just rinse them out and save it all for next time. Anyhow, that's all I wanted to show you guys today is how the Jackson Pratt drains work. Now, I hope that um, this is helpful for any of you who are about to have surgery so you'll understand about the drains. But honestly, they are not, you know, getting in my way or bothering me when I sleep or hurting or anything. So um, don't be scared about the drains if um, they're really easy to, you know, to take care of.